Hey everybody, it's Sonya. I haven't filmed in a while, but I am trying to clean up my studio. And am I the only person that makes like a way bigger mess while I'm trying to clean up? Because I'm trying to reorganize stuff. I mean, I've got stuff everywhere. It is ridiculous. But anyway, it's a work in process. Um, but I did want to share a few little hauls and a few little things. Okay, the first haul I want to share with you is from scrapbookpal.com and this is the first time I've, I ever ordered from them but um, and I really hadn't even heard of them before but I was showing off some of my art supplies to a co-worker of mine up in Alexandria Virginia, Virginia a couple of weeks ago and she was loving the liquid pearls that I had um, so I was looking for a website to direct her to to buy some and I found that this scrapbookpal.com had them for $1.99 and so of course I couldn't resist buying some for myself so I bought um, six different ones they are lovely uh, I love these so much these okay this one's hydrangea let me see let me get it in some decent light All right that one's hydrangea here's flamingo I bought Ballerina and Petal Pink and Rouge and Cantaloupe. So those are going to be fun. I love these. I use them a ton in my uh, Spirograph pieces because I can use these, you know, just make little dots and things like that. So I love those. So I got that. I got one of the Jelly Roll Silver Shadow Pins. This is the orange one, and that's what it looks like after it's done. And if you haven't ever played with these, they have Silver Shadow and Gold Shadow Pins. They are really super cool. When you write with them, um, you see, you can kind of see the orange a little bit. I'm not in the best light, but as it dries, it makes a little shadow. So your silver is actually ringed with orange. Can you kind of see that? Yeah, so that's cool. I use these a lot in my spirographs, not to do the spirographs with because they smear a little bit until they're dried, but um, I use them afterwards to color in my spirographs. So I got that. I got three distress markers. Peel Paint, Shutter, and uh, Broken China. I got some little, a sheet of these little flatback sticky pearls. And if you got, um, if you had spent $25, you got free shipping. So I'll, I'm always using these Signo, uh, Uniball Signo broad white pins. So I picked up one of those. For a couple of dollars, let's see, I got this one for uh, $2.99, pretty good, but I ended up getting free shipping on that, so that was a pretty good haul, and the shipping on this from these guys, um, scrapbookpals.com, scrapbookpal.com was super, super fast, so this was a good haul, and I will definitely be shopping with them again. Right, I'm losing my light, but I have a little haul from Tuesday morning I want to share. Only spent, um, what did I spend? Oh, well, I spent almost $50, but I got sheets, so that doesn't count. I needed new sheets for my bed, and I got cashews, so that doesn't count. So, art supplies wise, I only spent five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like ten bucks. Um, I got this Martha Stewart Pearl craft paint and I've never even seen this before and eh, it's not open I'll have to test I'll swatch it out and show you guys later so I got that for 99 cents I got a little pack of napkins I'm not big on the napkins I buy some every once in a while I know you guys find really cool ones that you use in your journals a lot but I don't know I just Sometimes I don't want this many, you know, but this was a small pack, and I love this color, and it had a big chandelier on it, so I picked that pack of napkins up, and I got this little pack of birds. I'm addicted to little birds. 
I thought those were too cute. And I got this little pack of leaves. Little gem sticky leaves. And this little pack of gem sticky flowers. And, and then I got this um kit this we are many we are memory keepers um i don't know what they call these kits that they have but um they're they are awesome i've gotten a couple of these before and i have used them so much i love this one i love the colors and you get a ton of stuff so i got 50 sheets of paper 50 sheets of 12 by 12 paper um, stickers and little tags and just all kind of stuff. I'll open it and show you guys a little more later, but for five bucks and it, it's good quality stuff. And I mean, look at that. Look at the colors on this. Isn't that just fantastic? Is that going to focus for me? It's not. Okay. Oh, there it is. Love it. Love it. Okay, here's a little book haul I wanted to also share. I found this place in Covington, Louisiana called Second and Charles. And it appears to be a chain. I don't know if it's all over the U.S. or not. But they have several stores. And it's a used bookstore. And they have used games and used DVDs and a huge comic book section. Um, and I focused on the children's books and the art books. And I got some really cool finds. Uh, for a lot of years, I've collected these Graham base books. I don't cut these up. I, I just collect these. They are um, amazing children's books. And he is the best illustrator. I love his illustrations. And all of his books have secrets in them. Some of them just have something hidden on each page in each illustration. This particular one is actually... Um, it's a story, but in the story, in each illustration, there's codes and things like that that you have to figure out. And then at the end, you have to put the code in here, and it unlocks a thing that lets you decode a message and solve the mystery. How cool is that? I just love these. So I got this one for $3, which is an awesome book, a price for these. Um, I got a second one called Uno's Garden. It was also $3. And these are in really great condition. Um, I mean, the covers are intact. They're not bent up. They're not, they don't look, you know, like they've been handled by a million kids. So I was really happy to uh, be able to grab these, these two for $3 each. Um, this is a little book that I've already started cutting up for a collage that I got at a thrift store in Columbus, Mississippi, and it is really cool because what they did is they took, let me see if I can find um, one good example. Okay, so they took um, a kid's drawing of a monster and the kid's description, and then they had a local artist come in and do another rendition of their monster based on their description. So I just thought it was so fun. Like here's a good one that you can see. Here's the kid's drawing and description of this monster. It says it eats plants, poisonous plants, and then goes to sleep. It attacks people with its plants. So that's that one. And then here is the artist rendition of it. So it's just a lot of fun. And uh, we've been cutting this, this one up for um, different collages and things. So love that i think it turned out to be like i don't know a dollar or 75 cents or something like that i found this book i think i ended up getting it for like 50 cents um at a again at a thrift store in um columbus and we'll, we're just going to cut it up for collage stuff it was in bad shape but those are the best books to cut up and then you have all these great images here's a cat one that we found there same thing, just a bunch of different images that we can use and play with. I think that. Okay, this is another book I got at a thrift store. I'm pretty sure I got it at a thrift store. Or maybe I got it at like a Books a Million or Barnes and Noble or something. Oh gosh, I don't even remember now where I got it. But anyway, it has some really cool images in it. 
And somebody suggested um, when I posted a picture of it that I scan these images rather than cut this book up. And so um, I'm thinking about doing that. I did get a new little scanning mouse thing that will make it much easier for me to do that if that's what I decide to do. And then I can print out the images. So I may do that. I may, I may just try that with this book. Um, you know, to see how that works for me. So that's that little book for $2. Well, it's not a little book. It's a, a very large book for $2. So I got that. I got this little book at an art supply store in Georgia. And it is um, just an old outdated calendar. But each page has a pinup girl. And these are great images, aren't they? Look at that. Um, they're good size, and they're going to be fun to play with. So I'm going to cut this up, uh, or as Shannon Green calls it, disembowel it. I'm going to disembowel it, so I'm going to use it um, in some other art projects. So that's that, and I think it ended up being like 75 cents or something. And then, uh, last but not least on the book haul is, this is another book I got at Second and Charles for $3. And it's a French art book. And again, it just has really great images in it that I can use in um, various art journals and other projects. So some of these I might also, also try to scan and so I can use them over and over. But it's got a lot of really great different things and uh, a lot of art deco stuff and then some older stuff pastoral things and parisian ads and stuff like that so that's um going to be fun to play with so three bucks all these images i'm always looking for deals like this got home from work today to find an amazon package yay and i got these actually i got these for work for um, to use in my planner. They're the Pilot Friction Erasable pens. And I haven't tried these exact kind. I have one that I use in my planner now that works great and I love it. So I thought I'd try these. They're Pilots, but they're from Japan. Um, as you can see, the only thing I can read is Friction and 24 colors. And I didn't see the 24 colors in anything from the US, but um, Anyway, I did get them on Amazon, free shipping. Okay, here is my Plitzy box, and I don't even remember what I ordered, so this is exciting. Um, okay, I got, I guess I've been on kind of a spray kick, because I didn't have any, so I have tons. This one is, um, this is an Adirondack one, um, red pepper, so I'll have to swap that out, and I've got a pearl pen in blue. Uh, I use these a lot on my spirographs. And I got another Adirondack spray sailboat blue. And this is, I think this was all on their clearance stuff. Um, all right, I got this rub ones, Kaiser Craft rub ones. Oh, these are cute. Oh, look at the little birds. Oh, these are cute. And, oh, I love these, um, what are they called? They're stickers, but you peel them off, stick them on, and then you can color in the design with um, your jelly pens or whatever. And, as y'all know, I'm a bird fanatic, so I got these little birds. I thought I got more than one pack of these. We'll see as we go through. Those are just little silver birds. Here's some rub-ons that are really cute and colorful. All right, those are good. More rub-ons. Oh, look how cute. These are the sea ones. Um, here's some fun little rub-ons. I don't remember getting these, but hmm. maybe I liked those numbers. I don't know why I would have ordered tires. But, um, I mean, they can look like gear, so I can use those on something steampunky, I guess. Um, more little rub ones. Love those. 
and oh, some little fairies. That, those are to go in my niece's little box. Fairies and unicorns. Or maybe they need to go in my garden journal. Hmm. Um, a little sticker bling. Did I order these? Did I need red sticker, red gems? I guess I did. Okay. Um, more of these peel off stickers that you color in. Oh, I loved these because they're little fairy girls. Um, like that one's holding a ladybug. Can you tell? They're kind of hard to see on the page. This one, um, this one has one that's her, that's her face, and then this is her dress, and she has little bells hanging off. And then she, there's other little butterflies and plants and stuff. And here's another one. Another one where she has, it's kind of hard to see, but this is her face. And then she has on a skirt that's made out of, here's her skirt, and it's made out of leaves. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll have to take some of these off and show you these. All right, so that's that one. Here's another one with little girls. It's got four little girls, and they have little ponytails and long legs and different pattern stockings that are going to be fun to color in. Um, here's another shoe of the birds. I did get another shoe of the birds. Here's more of the little girls. These have... Um, oh, she's holding a flower. Can you see her hair with her pigtails? And um, that little one has long legs and a tutu. Oh, these are about to be fun. Here's some more. This one is a fairy with wings and her hands up in the air, twirling around. Perfect. Um, here's another one with the leaves as a skirt. And here's one with just big flowers and here's one nautical themed with shells and lighthouses and here's basically that same thing in silver so i got one in silver one in black this is that's black oh that's cool um and this one is birthday cakes all right, that's fun. And then I got this pack of pirate stickers. Okay, so that's it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pages, or well, 20, 19 pages of stickers and, and or rub ones. 20 is that, two washes, uh, two color, big spray Adirondack washes, and a pearl pen, and it was $45, including $8 in shipping. So that is not too shabby, I don't think. Those, um, the spray dyes were $2.99, which is pretty good, because they're a good size, I think. Um, and everything else was pretty pretty doggone cheap. So yeah, thanks Blitzy. Um, give, give it her your shipping, but obviously it's not preventing me from spending money there. So anyway, um, okay, that's it for the haul.